Demon Slayer has finally ended on manga chapter, I believe, 205 or 206. And I uh, wait, this is it 206? Uh, is there is there 206? Did I not read that chapter? Oh, never mind. It's 205. My bad. I, I'm on the, I'm on a manga website, um, but I'm not snitching. But it's like a free website. I can I read these chapters. So. One more thing before the video uh, fully begins, please make sure to click the like button and um, like subscribe uh, because YouTube is really not messing with my content right now and likes and a bunch of likes help videos get recommended because most of my views don't come from people that subscribe to me. Believe it or not, a lot of YouTubers that have like a crap ton of subscribers, like one, one tenth of their views actually come from their subscribers and views come from being recommended and being recommended is getting a bunch of likes. And if you like my content and you like my personality and like all the videos i ever made please hit that like button because it helps grow the channel and helps me feel more um feel more energized to make more content so if you want more demon slayer videos or you just want more of my personality please hit that like button so yeah let's continue with the rest of the video um moves on i've been meaning to talk about moves on because a lot of people don't like moves on um a lot of people actually don't like the ending to demon slayer I'm kind of neutral on that. If you want to, if you want me to review that, because I didn't get to review it, because I had um had wisdom teeth surgery and I was going through a, a family passing, so uh, I didn't get to review it. But if you want me to review it, I, I will talk about the ending of Demon Slayer. But it's not to really talk about that. We're here to talk about Muzan, the final villain, right? And was he um, a good villain? Um, and I did a video talking about um, another show called um, Seven Deadly Sins, talking about the Demon King and I'm talking about how I don't find him an interesting villain, especially how he went out. And I said I was going to talk about Muzan eventually. And they're, and they're both very similar. Um, but I guess I could talk about Muzan, the overall character as a nutshell. So he's pretty much the, um, the first um, demon. He is the main uh, main reason why Tanjiro wants to be like a demon slayer. He wants to save his sister Nezuko and he's the driving force throughout the series, right? But the main issue about him is that a lot of his subordinates are more interesting either in design or background than Muzan himself. Akaza because he's more of like a, a you can feel sorry for him because the way he went out and Kokushibo has a more interesting design and more interesting skills than Muzan because Muzan his final fight went from chapters 180 to 203 pretty much and he really didn't do anything interesting other than just have a lot of tendrils um <laughs> uh, drag out his fight with the, um, the the demon slayers for damn near over 20 chapters and i don't have no problems with a long fight i actually like like the ending of naruto a lot of people say that that ending was dragged out but it was a lot of just unnecessary twists and turns and a lot of fake out deaths with moves on. Um, it was a lot of like, we got them now, then out of nowhere, no, I'm just stronger. And that happened a lot. Now, with moves on, I still think he was kind of interesting, but he because the thing is, demons are supposed to represent the weakest way out, right? Because throughout the entire story of Demon Slayer, it's showing that the true like heroes are the Demon Slayers, and, the, and humanity is a nutshell because they work hard because they're not immortal. They um they work hard for their power. Like the whole reason to become a Demon Slayer is to use your actual human abilities to take on beings that are naturally better than you and and, and naturally stronger than you. And he's supposed to represent cowardice because throughout his fight with the Demon Slayers, he's pretty much doing any tactic. There's like no honor with him at all. He would do anything to win. Even when he's like, fight, even when they show the flashback when he fought um, Yurichi, it showed that he didn't stand a chance against Yurichi. And as soon as he had the chance to like, you know, leave, he did. He like, he, he had no honor, right? And... The whole point of Demon Slayer to show is just to show that, like, you know, there's two major sides. It's the demons who are kind of cowardly and do anything for power, and there's no honor in their in their blood. And when the Demon Slayers, they're hardworking people who are at a disadvantage at all times. And if they would the ch if they would choose um, the, the, the demon route, they'd become way more powerful. That's what they showed with uh, Kaigaku and Kogoshiba, where they were Demon Slayers, but they chose the easy way out, right? But 
there's a thing with having like you know that narrative but it's how you display it right because moves on i would say that he had a pretty cool design after he came back after being poisoned and, and he has this whole aging thing right but <laughs> the fact that he turned into like an actual baby that was it kind of it kind of hurt his swag it hurt it hurt a lot about him right and the fact that he went out like that is kind of frustrating because it just it's just not cool it's just not interesting for him to be that way right and and i and i think the amount of handicaps they put on moves on really didn't make the final fight have any type of weight at all because it's cool that um that plan that the that one demon i, I don't know her name I, I keep forgetting her name um it's cool that her plan came together and that she was able to help out the demon slayers but it felt like she controlled the narrative after a while like okay this cool that she had a poison that helped moves on age right but then he's aging like a hundred years per like he's aging nine thousand years in like an hour or so just giving the heroes an unnecessary amount of like leeway then um you have a. Uh, the, uh, then you have like Tanjiro, he comes in, right? And he's finally mastered um, the Dance of the Sun God or the Breath of the Sun, right? And that should give him enough advantage. All you had to do was like, you know, have Tanjiro like recover all the way. But the Mangaka didn't decide to do that. <laughs> then after all that aging stuff, then you have a bunch of new stuff where like um, somehow, some way, even though... <laughs> Uh, Muzan is actually killed, quote unquote. He still figures out a way to get inside Tanjiro, and then is later confirmed that that Tamio, I forgot uh, the, that that's the demon who who poisoned uh, Muzan. That Tamio also figured out a way to have a backup poison that can help out um, Tanjiro after he became a demon. It just felt like after a while, Tamio became more of like the narrator than anything else. Like Muzan didn't become didn't feel like a threat anymore. And every time he looked like he's about to be defeated, it just kept getting dragged out more and more and more. And again, I understand what the mangaka was trying to do, but the way it was presented and how it went down just didn't make Muzan look good at all. It just made him look like an imbecile and felt like he was a guy who had every advantage but kept fumbling the bag. It didn't feel like the heroes didn't earn it. It felt like Tamiya really won, won it for him and they just had to outlast him. And... That's that's a cool way of changing the whole shonen uh, trope of having like you know the main character get some power up and they beat the final villain. I understand they they want to avoid that, but the execution of how pretty much like it just felt like the plot just turned against Muzan and just yeah it didn't it didn't feel right with me and his whole motivation of just humans being monster to him and that you know he felt like the demons were like a better cause. It didn't feel like it was really flushed out. It just felt like he just didn't like humans because he couldn't transform them all to who he is. And that it, that could be a good narrative. But even his final ending where he's left alone, it's cool for Tanjiro, but it doesn't make Muzan any more interesting, at least in my personal opinion. But yeah, so I guess the overall point in this video is that uh, Muzan had a somewhat decent uh, design. His first design made him look like Michael Jackson, which pretty much gave him the meme. Um, his second design with the white hair was pretty cool, but the fact that he got such unnecessary, like, just handicaps were like, he got aged a thousand years so that the fighters could at least have a chance. Then Tanjiro finally learns the breath of the sun, but it, it doesn't really matter. And his, his, his overall fight kept getting dragged out for over 20 chapters where he kept on looking like a punk and the fact that he turned into an actual baby because again he's supposed to represent cowardness like he's supposed to represent everything about being i guess a baby because he just wants to win no matter the cause with no honor but you can have that without actually make him look like one <laughs> you know what i mean and again the whole quick make tanjiro um a demon just for like a chapter or so without even really fleshing it out didn't help his case either so yeah i don't think he's the worst villain but he's he's definitely not the greatest he's he's uninteresting in comparison to kokoshibo or akaza who have more interesting backgrounds and interesting narratives i would really like it if um if kokoshibo was the final villain like he somehow overtook muzan because his whole dynamic of yurichi and him sacrificing his own family to become a demon 
it's more it's just better and like he has better moves like the only demon thing that like the demon technique that moves on use was some lightning ability which i'm just okay <laughs> not not that interesting compared to coco shiba this man is shooting out moons out here <laughs> but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. How do you feel about Muzan? Do you feel like he was a good villain? Um, do you feel like he was a waste of potential? Um, if I didn't say it at the beginning of the video, please like the video. Um, the the YouTube algorithm really likes it when the when you get a bunch of likes in the video. It helps it gets recommended. If you like my opinion or you like my personality, please subscribe for more content. And thank you guys for the amount of uh, views y'all have given me so far. Much appreciated. Um, this should be a double upload. In my first video was a Dragon Ball Fighters video. If you're into Dragon Ball Fighters and you like that type of stuff and you like gaming and just a bunch of yelling <laughs> and comedy, definitely check it out. It's subscribe thank you guys for all the support sun to peace love you all